Hey everyone, in this video we'll be covering using wealth magic and the spirit's Mahasya, the clefothic aspect, uh, Sita El, uh, the angel and the um, demon Orobas, to start up uh, wealth magic. And this is a ritual series that I do, often for my clients, uh, custom ri rituals, um, uh, ritual for hire, uh, sorcery for hire if you will. But um, this is a very powerful combination, especially with the clefothic aspect of Mahasya, the, um, the, uh, they would call it the negative aspect, but um, it's um, a very powerful combination to start out. There's a seven ritual series, but we're just covering the first three here in this video because this is pretty much, this is kind of a lot of power. Um, when you cover their powers individually, Mahasya um, can expand your wealth vibration into a much higher level so that you can handle far greater money flow and abundance. Um, that's sort of like kind of the lies of the past and sort of understanding what it means to be wealthy and it's kind of um, prosperous, opulent, having opulence in your life, uh, making sure that it's not a negative thing for you and making um, making you confident that you can achieve sort of your, your upcoming goals and visions and everything. Sita L, the angel, is kind of smoother but gives your personal life and job and career a boost in other ways, kind of creative ways that you may not be able to predict so that others can see you in the best way possible, getting you ready for larger changes to come. That's how you know that everything is working out when kind of personal life and career are sort of, um, uh, not mellow out, but um, it expands and it, it goes in a positive direction for you, and you'll know whether to go um, for another career, a better career, um, a promoted career within whatever you're doing now, or sort of a business, start up up a business on the side, and that's the regular aspect of Sita Eyal, not the clefothic aspect. And the third ritual uh, from Orobas, the demon destroys any beliefs or ideas in your mind that you are or should be in poverty or without money. And at, you know, at this point, some um, larger money and uh, prosperity changes should be in effect. This could be mindset. This could be physical. This could be whatever it takes to get you sort of knowing that not just the magic works or the spirits are helping you, but that you are capable of much um, greater things with your money, with your financial life. And it just works. It just fits that your money situation will be just working um, in, the, in the near future. And these are the first three spirits, um, part of the custom ritual series that I have called Wealth Magic. And these are the other spirits I have on the website, um, Magic is Life. Um, it's Natalia, um, the fallen angel aspect, uh, Lucifuge, which is the demon. This is a big ritual series. Plutus, the Greek spirit, Mela, Melahel, the Clefothic aspect. And uh, there's about three other spirits kind of changing out. Uh, it could be Jinn, it could be um, other angels, it could be uh, Greek spirits, Sumerians, but these, this is the wealth magic uh, sort of uh, ritual series that I have. It, these are the first three spirits of that, and it's a, an incredibly powerful series because wealth magic is about expanding your entire life to accommodate greater prosperity, sort of mastery, almost of money in general for your little, for your life. And if you have a family, it just you know it works out however your situation makes sense. And these three spirits can uh, are the catalyst of that. They're the starting um, spirits for this. But um, yeah, if you want to learn more, please check out the links below because wealth magic is a large topic. Or reach out to me if you have any questions, or um, you know, comment on the video with your questions. And um, yeah, um, maybe talk to me about uh, you know what a custom ritual would mean using these spirits. And um, yeah, uh, this video has been about uh, using wealth magic with the three, these three spirits plus the other ones, the four others. Um, and as always, um, please have the spirits guide you to where you need to be. Thank you.